Hi guys. Good morning. Good morning, Father. 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 Happy to see you, sir. Ah, thank you. Nice day. I'm so happy. And this is Sejus Skills. OED made easy. Our mission is to make you fall in love with OED. And if you're watching this on YouTube, kindly consider subscribing the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like our work. And please share your comments so that we customize upcoming sessions accordingly. And please do share your contacts so that we may reach out to maximum people who are really struggling especially financially struggling to crack OAP. We never charge for any of our services. So let's serve the humanity. And the first, first thing I want to tell you is this, you know, uh, if at all you are not able to un, uh, attend the session, don't uh, give don't give the names. You know, as on now it is full max capacity we have in this platform, and there are 164 people registered waiting to enter. Am I audible? Yes, Father. Yes, yes. Father. I'm, okay. If I'm fast, you have to let me know, okay? I'm trying sure. to be very slow. And I'm great, uh, feeling so great and uh, happy today. First of all, I, what I want to tell you, even today, even now at this session, at the very uh, beginning, initial stages of this session, always be cool. Be cool. Don't get tensed or stressed. It's a very simple thing. Only ask stress. Is this class available in YouTube? Uh, sorry, it's not available in, on YouTube. Now the thing is this, there will be some 10% repetition because some newcomers, beginners will be left somewhere on the way. So I'll be just introducing them and few, uh, a bit of repetition. Though it is a repeat class, I have taken a different reading passage, which in the group it have appeared as if it is very challenging. So I have taken up that particular reading from the group that you have forwarded or sent. So there will not be the repetition of the same passage. So reading for C skills, we are looking at, and you know, you have to target for 50 to 500 A grade, and definitely I think we all are targeting at that. And all those basic things, you know, duration, for A and C for A five minutes. So if you take uh, 12 minutes max for B part B, then you have rest of the 45 minutes, uh, a huge amount of time for your part C. And you can really relax and do it. So two long passages and recall yourself extracts from informative articles or papers about issues related to the healthcare field. The advantage of part C is that it's a single theme. Each paragraph, each text is a single theme. So there is a sequence in the text. To understand the sequence should be the focus of your reading. That will help you a lot in finding out the answers. So MCQs and to two passages, that is 16 questions, eight each uh, with four options. That you are clear. Six question comprehension of viewpoint, opinion, impressions, conclusions, so on, all those things. Give you a definition for the meaning of your word to each in both the So, four lexical questions will be there where you'll be asked to give a definition or to give the meaning, explain the meaning of a particular word. So, those four are the easiest ones. Anytime, and I tell you, anytime you can interrupt me, you can put in the chat box, you raise your hands or interrupt me, and you can interrupt me, no issues, or else you can keep on a piece of paper. Um, written whatever you need explanation again. And in the q and session, I can give you the further clarifications. And see that you have pen and notebook with you. So scheming, you know, search for clues that already I have told you if you have not attended any of the sessions, I'm just giving you one or two minutes for the beginners. So scheming means searching for clues. Just look at the title, section headings, subheadings, names. Names means it can be of person, of device, body parts, or anything of that sort, or of some study, whatever the names. Abbreviations like BP, whatever the abbreviations you find, and number six sixty. You know, always single digits will be written, will be spelled out. So you can't look for numbers normally. Single digits will be spelled out, and uh, double digits more than more than nine will be written in digits. That's the normal rule. Even when you have to write something, you are supposed to write single digits in using the spelling, spell out them, and uh, double digits in number. And also percentage, those expressions you can see when you skim. If some percent or percentage is uh, mentioned, and as I told you, always say 90%, not percentage. 90% is wrong, 80%, 90%, 10%, 20%. 20%. And when you use a digit before person, only percentage. When you don't use a digit, high percentage, low percentage, uh, better percentage, all those things when you are not using it. Digit, you can use the expression percentage. So, skimming again says you have to look at 
like uh, the part, later part of reading, you can look at the scale I explained to you. I'll be going fast on those things now. Synonyms. Synonyms, there are so many things. Synonyms, the same uh, meaning, different words. And synonymous language and paraphrasing also comes under the same. And cause and effect language is very important. The questions will be based on those things. And comparison and contrast, types, classifications, and chronology, time expressions, or sequential order. Sequential uh, expressions will be very important as regards, in, as regards understanding the paragraph text at the same time, uh, just identifying your answers. Then paraphrasing is very, very important as regards OET paraphrasing is very important, especially in uh, part two and part B and C. Okay, model verbs, I may, might, can, could, all those are things are very important and you'll find the answers over there. And also the opinion is very important. And also how they draw conclusions is important. And you should know the language may, might, could, all these opinion expression languages. Search for school, uh, close, scale. You know the difference already, you know. I'm not going into detail. If there are beginners, if you don't understand, you can let me know. So when we have a session for the beginners, we'll explain to you all this. Be mindful of the scale. Usually they are use these words many places and they use the synonyms as all. All means not majority, all means not most. So all of the students are really interested in everyone, each and every one. Most of the students are interested in majority, 70 to 90 or 90 to 99. Okay, not 100. And many means more than anything more than one. Many are sick today. Doesn't mean many, it can mean two, three, four, five, six, anything. A few means some, a few. All those scale expressions are very, very important. All, and your answers are just around these things. I tell you nowhere else. Somebody can shout out just to tell you what is synonym. Saddam Hussein was, yeah, Saddam, sir, this is Krishna. Saddam Hussein was uh, dashed by US government. Uh, so there we can use like executed. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because it is synonymous word for the kill. The soldier was murdered in action. And uh, he was, uh, like synonyms we can use. He was dashed by his neighbor, shooted, we can use. Indi Indira Gandhi was dashed by terrorist. Again, we can use like shooted. Mm, then the sheep was dashed by the man, slaughtered. Slaughtered also the synonymous word for the killing. I'll give you the answer. So these it's are all like the synonyms, yeah. which we can okay. use uh, for the same word killing. Okay, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your initiative. Thank you, Krishna, great. And uh, these are the answers if you want. Uh, Saddam Hussein was executed is the academic expression that you can use. Executed means somebody killed by the law after the process of trial in the court of law. The court's procedure as, uh, executes is procedure, so executed by, and the soldier was killed in action because soldiers have the permission to kill, it is not illegal. So murder is only when it is illegal. Uh, he was murdered by his neighbor. Murder, it's illegal. Gandhi was assassinated by the terrorists and uh, the sheep was slaughtered. This is a basic idea, you don't require all these things. Just to tell you, the synonyms will be very often used and answers will be found when you understand synonyms. If you don't understand the synonyms, you will search everywhere in the paragraph, in the text, and you will not be able to locate your answers. As cause and effect language, definitely you need. Industrialization is the cause of global warming. Global warming is the result of industrialization. And industrialization leads to global warming. These are the examples. You know, all these three things mean same, but they are different. So most of the time, there are issues with the students. They find confused between what is the cause and what is the effect. And the questions will be basing on that, whether you understand the cause and effect language. There's one example here. For the number, name, no? percentage. See, this is from one of the texts that you have for OET. So these are the things you have to see when you skim. And these will be the answers. You see, the question is, what is the prevalence of diabetes who have type 1? So prevalence means you need to give a prevalence, the percentage or number, whatever. So the prevalence 10%. And what is the organ is, which organ is not working concretely leading to diabetes? So they are which dash they say. So you need to find out a name, name of the organ. So that's how you just glance into the paragraph and identify or locate your answers. And this one I told you very, very sure that you know the sequence. Okay. When you do something, you should know the sequence of sequential uh, linkers, chronology, or time expressions to begin with. Firstly, I am telling you this, these are the indicators 
where the answer is. So you should be very much concentrating, focusing on these expressions. Next, then, okay. uh, after that, afterwards, and finally, lastly, these are known as sequential linkers or chronological expressions or time expressions. Before, see how they use it in a paragraph. Firstly, next, after this, before, afterwards, finally, those are the indicators where the answers you can easily use. Okay, and model website can pass good speaks about ability, possibility, permission, may, might, possibility. So when you when you understand, when you go into the opinion fact factor, you need to understand these things. Otherwise, you will not be able to identify the answers. Should means advice, recommendation, suggestion. You should mute your mm, audio means it's not compulsory, it's a recommendation, it's an advice, it's a suggestion. So it's not mandatory, it's advisory. When you say must, you must mute your uh, audios. It is necessity and obligation. If you don't do that, you will be penalized. So those expressions, you should be able to understand. The questions will be around these expressions. Okay. And the method you know already, if you have attended, otherwise, again, I'm repeating for you. The QTA method, questions you have to read, but never ever go into uh, for options, answer options, never ever read, but then before that, get into the text. First questions, then text, then the answer options. Question, text, and answer. That is the method you have to follow. But then in B, don't think it is only for OET, but it's only for C, part C. For E, what is the method? Anybody can shout out? This is for C, what is the method for B, part B? QAT, QAT. Yeah, QAT, question, answer, then only to the text. Answers Actually, yeah. and text. Yes, and in the uh, part A, you don't have, you need not go to anything. You can just glance at the headings and subheadings and go to the questions and answer even without reading the text. So to make it easy, always, I told you, cool down. Don't hurry up in your reading practice. Cool down and say, I have time. If Corona arrows me to sleep, I have time. Okay, cool down first. Don't hurry up anything. I don't say you have to test yourself in time bound way the time allotted 45 minutes means 45 minutes you have to complete it but then after that pull down sit down read analyze and find out all these aspects which i am explaining to you which will be also available to you in the group and someone who can take the screenshots maybe my, as of now my computer is not working you can share in the group as well last time shaija did that number the paragraphs i told you because some of the questions they say in the second para third para fourth para so better you number the paragraphs in the beginning, so then every time you need not search, and uh, so that you don't waste your time. And second one is, you should know the nature of the text. Today I'll be focusing on this particular passage, what is the nature of the text. Now identify the paragraph structure. I told you four types of paragraph structures. I'll just give you a glance of it today. And as we go on with each type of uh, text next time, I'll identify those texts and tell you what is the paragraph. And focus of the text, well, you should be able to identify the focus of the text. If you know the focus of the text, uh, maybe 40% of the answers, you've got it with that. And text, identifying the structure. How do you identify the structure? There are four uh, structures of paragraphs. So topic sentence in the on top, uh, then topic sentence on top, and then the, again, they paraphrase the same topic sentence. Sometimes only at the end, very rarely. Sometimes in the middle, that too, very rarely. Okay, But usually this is the method or this is the method. That's how your OEP um, texts are arranged. When it comes to first, you know, the, the example I give you, usually I give you, is, uh, last time I gave you Mahatma Gandhi is the father of our nation. Father is the key word. This is the topic sentence, key sentence. This is the key word. And this paragraph will speak only about the paternal qualities of Mahatma Gandhi. There will be a supporting sentence or two supporting sentences, which explains why we respect him as the father of the nation. Then there will be some examples like Gandhi Satyagra or whatever. Then we will complete that, conclude that paragraph. So it could be like this way: Mahatma Gandhi is the father of our nation. Mahatma Gandhi is the father of our nation. In other words, maybe at the end, after illustrating, explaining, and giving illustrations, examples, we will conclude saying that and Indians proudly consider or respect Mahatma Gandhi as the father of our nation. So the topic sentence will be repeated. In this case, only at the end there will be topic sentence. So first, we have to understand what is the topic sentence and what is the keyword. And rarely we have this method in the beginning. In the beginning, they will give you some illustrations and examples. Then they say the topic sentence in the middle of the paragraph, and then again they explain and illustrate. That's very rare. Okay. 
And uh, if you have ended this session, fine. But I'm just giving you an idea. You need this focus when you read every 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 paragraph, every text. You should and could. What are the model words? So you see, the trees are lovely. Is the opinion. So you should be able to identify the opinion. And many questions are based on this opinion, identification of opinion. When you say trees are lovely, that's an opinion. Some others can say trees are unwarranted. Trees are bad. bad. They create a lot of problems, especially uh, you girls or mothers, if there are trees around your house, you know, you have to clean the courtyard and the surroundings every day. So you may not agree with the opinion. Trees are lovely. When I read trees are lovely, you'll be saying it's hopeless. I'll be saying they're lovely, but that's creating a lot of problems for me because I have to clean the surroundings of my house every day. So trees are lovely. It's an opinion. And they make oxygen is fact. We call it fact and opinion language. We should be able to identify at part C, definitely focus on this, these things. Are you able to uh, distinguish between the fact and opinion expressions? These are called language functions. That's what they are assessing in your OET exam. And which is necessary for life is the benefit. These are functions which is necessary for life. Oxygen is necessary for life. So this is the benefit. And we should all plan to, and again, you see should, you see here, suggestion. Should tells you it is, mandatory. it is not mandatory. It's only an advice. It's a, only a suggestion. For example, doctors might tell you every day you should drink a minimum three liters of water. You should. It's not must. Should means you, know, you can drink or you can just neglect it. It's not, uh, you will not be penalized for not drinking water. So should, that has to be looked into. And speculation, when you use the expression could, it is speculation means it's speaking about the future. So it's not certain. Due to corona, within next year, uh, four lakh people will die. You cannot say that. Because that's the wrong expression, and you'll, uh, they will identify this competency as well. So you'll have to say might die or could die, all those things. Uh, uh, 3,000 people might die, may die, probably, perhaps, all those expressions. So that's known as speculation. And uh, by providing more shade, that is the benefit function of this particular part of the sentence is benefit. And India is planting trees. I told the example. This is known as developing sentence. To replace its old one is the reason. So the questions will be definitely based on these functions, nothing else. They'll be identified, for example, what, why? If they ask why, there'll be reason. So you have to look into the reason. And uh, uh, if they ask for some number, it will be example, or they'll be asking for uh, now being opinion. So these are the basic idea you should have when you, before you get into a text, okay? And you should be able to identify these things from the text you read. That's how you develop competency. So you, here you see, this is a paragraph with the three sentences, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight functions. These are lovely opinion. They make oxygen is fact. We should not reply to benefit. We should all plan to one suggestion. It could change city's prediction or speculation by providing more shade is a benefit. India is planting trees in example to replace its old ones is the reason why India is planting trees. Hope I am clear to you. These are not basic things. I don't want you to have know everything about it, but you should have an idea. And later we will be analyzing when I analyze the paragraphs or text, we will be identifying these things so that you know what father is saying now. Okay, this is this, this is that. The argument is mm, steadily built up with the different functions in a paragraph. So this is a see, I told you know. The opening topic center is the, like the seedling. It's the seed that you plant. That's how you understand the paragraph. Once the plant, uh, seedling is the idea that is being planted, first sentence. It grows through benefits and facts. It grows through benefits and facts. You have to speak about the benefits, facts, which means you are explaining your topic sentence or the idea that you have presented in the topic sentence. And is strengthened with reason, okay? They will be strengthening their argument with reason, colored with opinion, there is a color of the thing, and develops interesting offshoots, offshoot branches, small branches, with suggestions and proposals, explanations and examples fill out the foliage. You know, the branches make them rich, and the end result is a beautiful and original creation, which is your reading text. You know, if you're able to identify the idea and the benefits, facts, reason, opinion, Offshore uh, suggestions, proposals, explanation, examples, foliage. This nothing else remains in your uh, text. Sir. Hope you got it right. Should I repeat? No, oh, it's okay, Father. You can proceed. Don't worry about these things. This I am giving you just a glance idea, which I'll be touching upon in coming sessions. I'll be clearly telling you this is the color. 
This is the strength of this paragraph or text. That's why they have asked this question. This is idea. This particular question is based on the main idea. And this is the reason. That's why they have asked this question. And this is the suggestion. That's what you have to understand the language. This I'll be highlighting in the coming uh, sessions when I analyze the paragraphs. So the paragraph text is seedling, topic, sentence, idea, or a fact, growth, benefits, and facts, strength, reason, color means opinion, offshoots, offshoots means branches of your tree, suggestions and proposals, we call it tree analysis of your text. Holy explanations and examples, result, a beautiful and original creation or a wonderful text. And uh, when you see all these things, and you see a beautiful tree that is grown with a lot of foliage and a lot of fruits, leaves, green leaves, you'll be, you'll be so happy to look at that tree. So also you'll be so excited and thrilled to look at your reading passage. And I am getting into the text. So that today's text is about seashells. First I told you, we have to understand the nature of the text. Nature of this text is classification. There are texts which are descriptive. There are texts which are analytical. There are texts which are classification type, and there are texts which are cause and effect type. There are texts of comparison and contrast nature. So each text will have, in, have its own nature. There are our main major six nature texts. So if you understand the text, you will understand the explanation very easily, and you will understand the clues are here, and the tricks played by the examiners will be based on those clues. How they use it's the classification text I told you. Motor seizures are then which type, which activity. So you see the expressions are all based on those classification nature. Which one to three minutes number. Okay, activity you have to say focus on activity. Here one type you have to say which of the types. Please mute. Type no, which type again says speaks about classification. Which is so you see the expression which again. So again it speaks about classification, who may undergo surgery. So the person or a particular category of people, which type of patients is the answer, which one of the described tonic users, which one, again, classification is the focus. He is reading the text. I have created a mind map of the text to tell you what is the nature of a text. He'll be reading a portion of the text. Then you just go, try to follow this mind map from that text. Text, text one. Classification of seizures. In order to communicate about types of seizures, epilepsy specialists have developed a classification system for seizures. This system is not based on any fundamental property of seizures, but rather on committee generated conventions of terminology. Classification is as follows partial seizures and generalized yeah, seizures. Uh, they are saying classification. First paragraph introduced the how they classify. The whole focus of the paragraph is introduced. Now going on the different classifications. You I try to identify my misreading this particular type of classifications. And if you understand from this one text uh, so much, you are almost every answer you will get within no time. Yes, please continue. Classification is as follows: partial seizures and generalized seizures. Generalized seizures, and then they say true grand mal seizures. This is a synonymous language being used. When they use generalized seizures, are also known as true grand mal seizures. In the question, they will not be speaking about generalized seizures, they'll be speaking about true grand mal seizures. And now they will give you all the symptoms and indications of these particular seizures. Then you'll be confused with that. So you should be able to know what is it. Maybe they will say a symptom of complex partial seizures as a partial seizures is uh, indicator or symptom. But then you will feel it's not of a partial, but it's of complex partial, no. So that is the conclusion they draw from these things. For example, Anu is also known as Jimmy and QT. So next time when they refer, they will say QT is very smart. That means Anu is smart. That's the connect the thing. That is should be very, very, very Clear in when you read, you have to focus on those things. Yes, please continue. Partial seizures are further divided into simple partial seizures with no alteration of consciousness or memory, or complex partial seizures with alteration of consciousness or memory. Simple partial seizures can be motor seizures with twitching, abnormal sensations, abnormal visions, sounds or smells, 
and distortions of perception so after this is the structure and nature of the text so after every uh, particular type of seizures they will be following it up with the indicators or symptoms that is the structure of the paragraph of the text seizure activity can spread to the autonomic nervous system resulting in flushing tingling or nausea if the patient becomes confused or cannot remember what is happening during the seizure then the seizure is classified as a complex partial seizure previously they were called psychomotor seizures temporal lobe seizures or, or limbic seizures see there are During four the names given for a particular seizure. type four synonymous names given yes. to a particular type so they will be repeating in the question they will be asking one of these four so you should not get confused you should know okay this is called uh, x is called as y z or a during the complex partial seizure patients may fumble or perform automatic fragments of activities such as lip smacking picking at their clothes walking around aimlessly or saying nonsense phrases over and over again these purposeless purposeless activities are called automatisms about 75% of people with complex partial seizures have automatisms those who do not simply stop stare and blank out for a few seconds or minutes generalized seizures are divided into absent okay, next, seizures next, or next. chronic chronic yes yeah, next seizures. you can see from there even if you are not seeing the paragraph you can see there is a shift in the paragraph generalized seizures or true grand mal seizures absent seizures were previously called paired mal seizures and usually have onset in childhood but they can persist into adulthood absent seizures present with staring spells lasting several seconds sometimes in conjunction with eyelid fluttering or head nodding these seizures can be difficult to distinguish from complex partial seizures that may also result in staring staring usually absent seizures are briefer and permit quicker recovery generalized tonic clonic seizures were previously called grand mal seizures these seizures start with sudden loss of consciousness and tonic activity stiffening followed by clonic activity rhythmic jerking of the limbs thank you thank you uh, i hope the participants got a general idea the whole text is divided into this small mind map so easily this gives you a clear idea this is what you should have even when you draw a rough draft when you get you get a classification type of text and now we will land into the next part this is the text and you can see the classification of seizures i told you the nature of the text the types classification system this system means again classification system classification divided into classified everywhere that is being repeated so when you understand that it's very easy to get into the answers see can be the modern word can is being used special or uh, the conjunction is being used activities i told you in the question there was activities and percent 75% those things you should be you should be focusing on so you have modal verb here and the answer for question 7 okay and you have uh, answer for question 8 but i'm telling you exactly those things what you identify the answers will be found exactly over there you need not worry about it okay <laughs> this is what uh, he was reading second part the generalized seizures okay are divided into the subdivision you see absent seizures and tonic clonic seizures so absent seizures were previously called paired mal seizures you see previously called which means they are same it's synonymous so you have to understand that context that answer so in the question even if they ask not about uh, absent seizures if they ask paired mal seizures that means absent seizures and usually have onset in childhood but they can again the model be being used model verb that's what i told you the answers will be always around these expressions and uh, the opinions being expressed and the model verbs yes generalized tonic clonic we have previously called grand mal you see the same method previously called previously called they are giving you x is also was called y so next in the question statement you will have about y not about x then you should not be confused tonic clonic seizures usually last 1 to 3 minutes again you have 1 to 3 minutes i told you the number has to be focused there is an answer so 1 to 3 you don't write the digits till 9 you have to write you have to spell out the numbers above uh, when it is two digits or more you can write in digits okay now you see modal verb 
I'm telling you the criteria strategies which I gave you, how it is being used in the text here. Okay, the answer is here because there is a number, one, two, three minutes. Number question number 10, answer is given there. See, it's a load, but the conjunction can. Okay, so around there, 11 answer. So, okay, pro grandma, now the, the option is used, being used here. A part of the brain that is vocally abnormal and surgery, patients with surgery was the key word. This is paraphrasing, a part of the brain that is vocally abnormal. I'll tell you when you, I get into the question. And this is paraphrasing. In the question, it is put in the question statement, it is put in, in another words or in some other way. It is paraphrased into some other sentence structure. So that's why I told you you should be able to understand the sentence, different sentence structures. Yes. And you have the answers here: surgery and the person, name or the category of persons. Okay. So again, you have 14. Number 14 answers here. It was involved shifting of muscles. May or may not again you have the modern word. You have the name followed by two answers, may or may not. You have the answer here, 14, number 14. May or may not is being used, the model verb. Involve is the word which students usually don't understand. Even in the previous session, I told you, one question was around involve, the word around involve, by, the, by researchers were the answers, but many confuse it. Motor seizures, simple partial seizures. Actually, this can be answered within, within around uh, maximum six minutes. You don't require more than one minute for one answer. Because only those types are given here, only four types, you have to identify which type. Motor seizures, it is a synonym. And this seizure is also known as motor seizure was in the passage. So this is a synonym. I'm telling you the uh, strategy, what is being used. They are, they are testing you whether you understand synonymous language. And which type, again, you are asked to say what type of seizure does the patient generally not remember what is happening around him. So clearly complex partial seizure and memory pass aspect is given there. Which one of the activities are related to automism? I told you activities, lip smacking. They have said there are different activities of different types. Once they give you a type of seizures, the symptoms or the indicators are given, and there you have to focus, need not go anywhere else. Which of these activities, you have to just go into automatism, uh, which is also known as here, you have the synonym as well as the indicators being tested. This is synonym used in there. And which seizures last for one to two minutes. Now the thing is, which seizures? One to three minutes number. So that suddenly you can go to that one to three minutes. Wherever there is number, I told you, when you scan the, or skim the text, identify the number and percentage, name, or such things. And you have the answers there. Nowhere else, you don't find any of these questions based on any other strategy, but only those strategies which I have explained. And you see which type. Again, this source is a classification text. Childhood and may persist into adult. Which type? Petit mal seizures. Again, they are asking whether you understand the synonymous expressions because petit mal seizures was not the primary name introduced. That was secondary, the second name given uh, to that particular type of seizure. And which seizure arises from a focally abnormal part of the brain? Secondarily, generalized seizure. Again, they have given in the symptoms this particular aspect. And as per the given information, yes. who may undergo surgery? Who means which patient or which category? Yes. Uh, which one of the following? Uh, that is again, you know, symptoms. Here you have answers all either in the type of seizures or in the, among the symptoms. You can just put them into columns. What are the symptoms of this particular type? Four types and four symptoms. Immediately you can jump into that. If you know the structure of the paragraph, you can immediately jump into it. Structure is this, main seizures and the subdivision of seizures. Even if there are some subdivision, again, those subdivisions, then each one, they're explaining, they're each paragraph explaining about their symptoms or indicators. If you need any clarification on any aspect, you can let me know now. Five minutes, you can have your name. And I, I tell you, this is not for the people who just want to complete everything and get into UK or USA to by tomorrow noon. This is not for those people. Those who have time, definitely, you need to practice less and less if you go with the strategies. And you'll be 100% or as we say, 120% confident when you enter the examination hall. I will crack it. And this is not only for reading, I tell you, this is pakka needed for your listening and uh, uh, writing and speaking. All the four modules test the same criterion. So if you understand this better already, some have given me the feedback. When you taught me the reading, listening, I'm getting better scores here along with the reading. Because, you know, in the if you go to the first part, the medical professional will be giving the side headings and headings. The questions are 
giving the main aspect or the headings or subheadings, and the patient is giving the answer. So if you clearly know that, the, uh, the health professional asks you a question about the symptoms, patient gives what are the symptoms he is suffering, what are the problems he is suffering, one, two, three, four, and one of them will be the answer. So suddenly you have to just follow the answer sheet and fill in there. So the headings and subheadings not written there, but the health professional's questions and queries or uh, suggestions uh, contain those headings and subheadings. So this is same for all the all the four sub tests because competency is being assessed. The same criteria is being assessed in all. Only in speaking you have your communication skill being assessed. Three people can take the chance if you want to speak. And grab these chances, okay? These are the chances because we are all strangers here. You can simply jump in and speak. There is no issue. You will get, you will build up your confidence. It's not only your competency. Competency it will, itself will not work. Even if you practice thousand materials, competency without confidence is not going to be working. So you need the positive attitude, competency, as well as confidence. So take chances of speaking and speak to other groups, make small groups and start speaking. It's only for improving your, uh, it's not just for improving your fluency, but it's also required for all other aspects whereby you develop your confidence and you feel, okay, I'm doing something, I'm okay. And one thing I want to tell you, you know, as of now, already today, we could not admit me. So see that you get in early and ensure your uh, seat whenever there are sessions. And don't feel bad if I'm not able to admit you. There are so many people sending me over the phone messages, Father, please said, let me in, please let me in, please let me in. You know, after the system doesn't allow, that is the max capacity we have. So don't feel bad, I did not allow you in. It's not me who is not allowing you in, this Zoom is not allowing you in. I always expect, I repeat that, a feedback, not to feel cool, cool about it, but to understand what lessons you learned, how far you have received something. Should I make some corrections? They are not uh, a boost for me, but that's how we can make corrections and upgrade ourselves and serve you better. And uh, if you go with that mapping strategy, instead of you are practicing 200 uh, reading thing, you need to practice maximum 10 to 15 reading pass uh, text. That's more than enough for a subtest. That's why we are telling you, ease your, the way you spend 10 to 15 minutes or half an hour your feedback, I'll tell you that will come turn to you, saving you 10 hours of time. Uh, other one is like uh, people are continuously asking me for videos. Father, could you upload video? Could you send video? As I told you, this this particular session will run into more than three GB, and you know we are in a, we're not in a very metropolitan city. Uh, network issues and uh, continuously when the sessions are being engaged, if I keep for uploading, you know my system will be always engaged. The internet issues will recur. So what happens? I have kept a criteria. I am not very fond of uh, making uh, video, editing videos and sending because editing it takes a lot of time. We are not on commercial lines, you know. So I myself am editing it. So uh, depending on the interest, these are the repeat sessions. And in this platform, you know, you know, everywhere they say premier. If you have to get into premier, you will get all these facilities. You have to pay so much. But we don't ask you to pay anything to get into premier. Already many are into premier. Once you get into premier, you will have many other benefits of having extra additional sessions, discussions, and other assistance, because we don't want to put in to the sleeping members all these things. So get interacted. If you are not sure how to interact in the group, if you are not confident, you should be confident, or you must make yourself confident. Even if you are not confident, you know my number and get back to that. And if you feel I am not responding to you, that means you have not introduced yourself to me. Because when I get a message or a call from an unknown number, I will never ever respond to an unknown number because as I finish my today's session by evening, I will have maybe 3,500, 6,000 some plus missed calls and other things. I can't attend to those. But if it is saved, definitely I'll give them a feedback or a missed call or I'll allow them to call. So if you are not getting response that is understood, and uh, I, have, I am tired of typing, may I know who is this? Because you are asking me something, I don't know who I am giving. Okay, there are many social network issues. so. Uh, don't allow me to ask who, who are you or may I know who is this. And you initially you introduce yourself. I have told you time and again, introduce yourself into my personal WhatsApp so that I save your number so that I can answer your queries. Otherwise, that will not be responded to. Okay. That's all what I want to tell you.
And thank you for your patient listening. Now it is Q&A. Thank you, Father. You have been giving. But thank you. Thank you. That is from iPhone to everyone. iPhone. We don't want to dis- interact with iPhones. I'd like to have your name in the profile, everybody. When you message me, I can at least say thank you. Now I have to thank you. I say thank you, iPhone. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Looks very odd, no? Thank you, iPhone. Right. <laughs> I, I really appreciate people like... Uh, Samia Sham, uh, Lindsay, Krishna, and there are Lavina, uh, those people who are really helping in the platform, supporting us in the various ways. And I suggest and request again, if you can send me in one, you can easily find out your uh, responses. You know, some have sent to the group, some have sent to the mail, some have sent to the uh, my personal WhatsApp. Now, if you can just collect all your interactions into one word format file, which is easy for you because only your things, you know, it is in your chat, you can immediately, you can copy and paste and mail it to me into u4uils at gmail.com. I'll be very grateful. All your interactions in this platform combined into one, this one. If it is specifically, uh, if you have sent it to my mail, you can mention in bracket in that page mail. Put your name always on the body of the text. Because as we enter hundreds of mails, we don't know who it is. Then we have to go back into the mail history and find out who it is. So Sandhya, yes. Sandhya, Katie. Okay, you are welcome. Welcome. Yes. So uh, try doing that and uh, we will be able to assist you and give you a little service. If you've got something to write down, please note it down. When you write your evaluation, uh, you have to make sure that you mention your name. Firstly, you mention your name. Secondly, what you have to do is that you make sure that you mentioned the date and timings of the session. And uh, so I'll tell you, so far, I don't know like how many of you have at uh, right, written evaluations because I have received some, maybe it's a, um, or like 30 or less than that, depending on this number of sessions. So what you have to make sure is that one, you write down your name, two, mention the date, date and timing of the session, three, the title of the session. If it's like reading part, uh, if it's part B or part C or part A, please do mention that re, I mean the title of the session. If you've got any subtopics within, you also mentioned that, okay, this t- subtopic was discussed, this many topics were discussed, subtopics. So your name, date and timings, title, topics, and subtopics. Another important thing is like, you've got to ask questions during the session. So if you have, if you've got some questions, if you have asked any during the session, please make sure that you write it down in your evaluation because that adds up to the entire thing. Other assessment, ask him, like uh, say mentioning, okay, father, I couldn't actually understand the SWOC principle. So it would be better if you can just uh, advise on that or if you can just engage uh, or like a session on that thing. And you are learning and interpretation of the session. And finally, if you got any, because unless you put forward your suggestions, like say, uh, father, I find uh, like say having sessions at 10 a bit difficult because I cannot just manage the schedule. So if you've got something like that, please do mention that as well. So I just repeat, please write it down, you, your name. I'd also post it in the group, okay? Please see that and you please acknowledge the same. Like either you just send me to thumbs up or say just you have understood it clear because in the uh, upcoming sessions, you're like prior to, like if we've got to admit you into the next sessions, you have to make sure that you fulfill all those criteria. Suppose if you have not asked the question, then it's fine. You can simply avoid that. What you have to look into is that you mention your name, the date and timings of the session, the topics and subtopics, if any, the questions that you have asked during the session, the point or concept that you have not understood clearly, your questions on the topic that is not being addressed during the session. Maybe you can also mention that and your learning and interpretation of the concepts, you can just summarize it on your in your words and finally, the eighth one is suggestions and feedbacks, if any. I, I need some additional support from some areas. Uh, sir, sometimes, uh, most of the time nowadays, questions were coming like research materials. Okay. So when we approach these kinds of materials, mainly yes. they are asked, yes. or last time you have mentioned about that, and yes. also sometimes answers coming thereafter, or however, yes. in these words after that, um, um, and also uh, sometimes some... paraphrasing. Yes, Saumya Mohan, you in your feedback, you just mention it so that next time I will have a session on all six types of text possible. What are okay. the main main thing of what you have to focus on in all the six types? For example, I told you this is the classification yana of okay. text. So okay. also I'll give you the yeah. research text. Okay. okay. How we have okay. Done the name what is it, sir? Uh, six types of 
there are six types, six channels of writing. One is classification text. One is okay. research text. One is okay. comparison and contrast text. One is descriptive okay. and definition text. Other one is uh, agree and disagree, argumentative text. One other one is persuasive okay. text. These okay. are the yarners or types of different categories of text with their own okay. taste and smell and color and taste. You know? Okay. As I told okay. you, classification text just to be dealt with classification text. All these six, six types can happen in your uh, uh, reading text. Yeah. Exam. Okay. So okay. the research is another mode of way of typing, but then the structure will be almost same. Everywhere it's structure is same. Topic okay. sentence, developing sentence, supporting sentence, all those things. Otherwise, I said the point first, idea first, then explanation, then evidences, examples, illustrations, then the link, paraphrasing okay. of the idea. That is called okay. feel, feel format, which you have in my YouTube channel, some videos on that. Uh, okay, Spad. And one more thing, Father, when we are approaching the question, part C, how yeah. we should approach first we will go to uh, the question yes then, then we need to uh, read the paragraph yeah then come back to the answer options uh, op options yeah never go into the answer options first before reading the text because you will be completely confused uh, with those but options. It, okay but yeah. for part b it's opposite yeah, it is opposite. Uh, in the part B, like you have to go into question, then answer answer options, then to the text. Because I tell you, in the part one, once you uh, skim, just look into the clues, uh, like uh, headings, subheadings, titles, headings, subheadings, names, those highlighted things or within brackets, those things. Then you yes. actually, you need not read. I told you, if you have attended my first session, we did not go to the paragraph at all. We did not read the paragraph at all. Yes. You, we got Without anything, answers. we got answers. Yes. Answers. That is the easiest yeah. part. 20, 15, uh, 20 questions. And coming to part B, you have Q, uh, AAT method. You have to read questions and answers. And I clearly showed you last time about diabetes. Yes. When you read and answers, daily activities. You knew it is a diet and exercise or whatever. Yes. So definitely okay. some of the answers you can get even without going to the text. Then why should you struggle with the text? Okay. okay. That is even uh, much easier than C. So uh, part A is like... Uh, uh, drinking a cup of milk, part okay. B is uh, like uh, drinking a, a juice. Coffee without B sugar. Is, yeah, coffee without sugar. But uh, uh, here, like no coffee with sugar, baby, black coffee. And C is uh, actually uh, without sugar. Coffee without sugar. Sir, and kindly. That's not very challenging. That's not very challenging. Did you see this passage challenging now? Answers no, this so passage easy. was okay. Yeah, yes, but, father. But, but it is one of the confusing uh, uh, passages, text for the people who don't know the honor of the nature of the text. Okay. Because there are so many synonyms being used. Their paraphrasing is very difficult for us. For me, okay, uh, para okay, I don't okay, understand okay. this paraphrasing. Yeah. Yes, I get the feedback. If there are many, we will have a session only for those people who want to read. Uh, maybe you can uh, initiate a list, uh, list in the group whereby you can mention, please attention. I would like to. I am interested in learning para para paraphrasing. Then I will take a small session only for you. Yeah, Prajita, you can text me, uh, give me in the message, the time management aspect, your challenge, you will look into it. Okay, once you, are, once you know how to attack it strategically, when you learn strategies, you will have extra time and you will say you will have additional time, you will give it back to me, I know. Yes. Okay, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes. Definitely, you will have Father, extra thank time. Thank you very much. So, Father, part, we will part. have a class on strategies. Strategies? Already I am doing it. So, Father, I you... gave you strategies. Uh, yeah. But uh, the strategies itself... Yeah, these are, the, these are the strategies. If you want the strategies as such separate, I can give you no issues. But then without the examples, you may not understand. Actually, the session okay. will be longer. Uh, we can take for uh, one example, one paragraph for each strategy and show you how the strategy, for example, numbers, names, uh, scales, then uh, synonyms, paraphrasing, all those things I have identified today in the text itself. So we shall have some days of... Hello, Father. Yes, yeah, please, please. My name is CBM Joy. I am new to this platform. So now I am with you. So I would like to have more uh, explanation on reading. <laughs> Kindly, Father, please help Yeah, me. definitely, definitely. <laughs> but only you need to follow the instructions in the group so that uh, we uh, give the additional time to you in supporting you. If you at all you are following, I tell you, all right. if, you to, if all were to follow the instructions in the group, 
I tell you just to give you a thumbs up or uh, invert it and thumbs up so that you will be reminding others there is any instruction. Otherwise, it will get flooded in the whole chat. Chat is so we will look into that. Uh, uh, mention okay. mention these concerns in the feedback as well. Okay, in your evaluation feedback. Oh, so sure, sure. Father, uh, this is Krishna, Father. Yes, Krishna. How is your health? Uh, yeah, I'm recovering well, Doc. Uh, well, yeah, Father. <laughs> thank you. For, oh, praying for you every day. Thank you, Father. Um, Father, many of them they are, I mean, like facing difficulty for listening. Uh, I thought it would be better if we can have one more one session on listening, Father. Definitely, definitely. Many definitely. of them even personally messaging me to just uh, yeah. convey the message to you. Yeah. Ultimately, uh, ultimately the whole uh, uh, what you call scheduling of the uh, sessions depends on the feedback, what they are uh, uh, asking in the feedback and their concerns. So definitely, I'll take care of this one. At the same time, we should have some idea so that majority said this is the challenge. Now, for example, part C being the repeat session. This session was being asked by so many people in their feedback. We want a session on part C or reading, part C reading, part C reading. So that's the only criteria. We should have some criteria to face. Now, otherwise, everybody will be asking today. One will be asking for speaking, another one for listening, another for reading. So definitely this will be considered. And also you can text me as well, okay? So that I will consider it in the assessment. Okay, and Father. One, and regarding uh, one, uh, regarding and video, uh, yes, Father. Yeah, one sec. If you send me a mail, I'll be happy if you can just put anybody sending a mail can just put uh, uh, a small text I have mailed in my WhatsApp oh. chat so that I can look into the mail. And oh, okay, uh, thank you so much. Me. And others are also welcome on any small part of OET. If you want to make it create a video, please do that so that we support each other. And I told you my target, my my mission is to support 100,000 uh, 100, students in this regard. Okay, So we will uh, customize a database and you are videos will be posted and many will benefit from that and that can also open up a life uh, for you a different stream of life sometimes difficult to understand the opinion of the writer yes fact and opinion language we will consider please put in the feedback as well so that uh, i can i can i can take a session only on that how to identify fact and opinion language uh, hello father yes yeah uh, further in reading, uh, most of the time we will get uh, like uh, some words, the meaning they will be asking, like uh, alert, prudent. Yeah, so in suspect. reading part C, in reading part C, they are called as lexical questions. Okay. So both the texts, there will be two each. Four questions will be lexical, means they will be asking for the meaning of the word or a description or a definition from the text. It will be in the text, but the word you have to understand. What is your the challenge over there? Uh, so, do you have any uh, such kind of words, common co words, which will, which is asked in the reading? Uh, yeah, and, uh, and, uh, it's not common words. What I suggest, let me share the screen. If can. Let me see. You, this is how you have to make a log of words when you read and start your reading. No? See, can you see my screen? Yes, Father. See, here you see, these are maybe health words. Okay. 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 So what you have to do is, you have to make a diary of the thing. Whenever you read something, along with the sentence, you have to use the word. This is how you learn synonyms. This is how you learn uh, a paraphrasing, all those things. So like this, no? Over eating disorder, nutrients, diet, overeating, ingredients, allergy. So it's not just the word, but the paraphrasing a sentence, what you found in the reading text or somewhere in the uh, speaking session or anywhere, wherever you find any, in any journal, wherever you go and read something, you can collect all these words along with the context in which it is used. Okay? Okay. For writing also okay, you can use, it. for example, to stop something wrong from happening. In writing, these expressions will be very useful. Okay. okay. Like I got several words from the reading itself. Uh, in many, many uh, reading questions, they have asked for like a prudent, alert, catastrophe. So we, yeah. we will not be knowing the meaning. So the answer yeah. will be wrong. Actually, so we know actually, the, uh, these wordings. Actually, you don't require to know the meaning and we don't advise always to learn the meaning from the dictionary. It has to be in the context. They are, they are testing you whether you can understand the meaning from the context. Okay, okay. I told you the word round R-O-U-N-D. That is a word which has uh, the least meaning and it has got 76 different meanings in English. 
So you have to understand it in the context and maybe in the next session, when you put it, uh, highlight it in the, uh, your feedback, I will tell you how to identify the meaning from the context. That is a skill. It's a part of reading skill. Okay, okay. Okay, I will let okay. you know. So because nobody in the world will know every meaning of every word because okay. every word has its meaning only in the context. Independently, they don't have the meaning. Okay, okay, okay. thank you, Father. Yes. Sir, other than this lexical question, what are the other types of questions normally uh, we can see from paragraph? Father? In, uh, paragraph 3, past, uh, part 3, you mean? Yes, Father, part C. In, mainly on opinion. Lexical questions okay. will be 4. Out of 16, 4 will be lexical questions. Okay. Two each, two each from each text. Then you have okay. opinion, opinion, whether you are able to identify between opinion and fact. The okay. questions will be based on opinion. Other one will be on drawing conclusions. They will draw a conclusion oh. which is not straightforward, but you have to understand. Uh -huh. But okay. you have to understand. Okay. Okay. So, okay. That is it. Then paraphrasing. You will have a question. Uh, okay. Then, then so you will have my, on model, uh, use of model verbs. Prediction. Speculation. Okay. Uncertainty. Oh. Should. Can. Could. May. Might. Perhaps. Okay. okay. And yes. also about sequential so, uh, use of sequential words, linking words, whether you understand okay. the context in the context. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are the main things. So, that's is what, it possible for you, sir, to take yeah. a class about these things? So that will be very helpful for us. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see how many require that, and the feedback okay. I'll see. Okay. Highlight all those who are listening to me. If you require this, yeah. what are the questions being asked from part C? Only on that, mm. uh, I'll take a session, maybe a short session of 30 or 45 minutes. Kindly, please, sir. Uh, yeah. Yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, hello, Father. Father. Definitely. If you all assist in the group, no, in, our, in the functioning of the group, I can save a lot of time. Though I can give you those timings. So see that you are all good at interacting in the group. So I can also collect the things. I will be inspired to do something. Otherwise, many other students will take away my time. Now, you know, one batch could not, so I could not even make them enter here. I could not give them classes recently because uh, those timings were taken up for you. So I asked them to enter here because they also sure, need sir. anything. Father, I have one more request. Yes, mini uh, Father, yeah, Father, if you get time, uh, can you take a detailed class on writing? Because I feel difficulty in writing. Did you attend uh, my previous session on writing? No, Father. No, I recently joined to this group. All and right, I didn't. Right. Yeah, you, init you initiate a list, you have seen the list in the group. No, no, now you can initiate this list saying that, uh, uh, please attention, I'd like to attend the writing session, number one. Mini this will add their they require, and also okay. mention it in your evaluation. I also, Amal Albi says you also need writing, okay. So you all mention in your feedback so that we'll take the number of students who need writing, then we'll circulate the list. Immediately, if you, that is the most needed one, the scheduling will go on based on that. So only okay. it will be based on that, either on your feedback or on YouTube comments. These are the okay, two sources right. we can draw your attention. Radha, can you hear me? Yes, Father. Father. Oh, welcome. Welcome to the new platform. Yeah, thank you, Father. Uh, you couldn't get the raise, did it? You entered now. Yes, Father. Okay, it was full. Uh, Father, can you please help me how to manage the time uh, during this reading session and listening section? Because I ah, can't able a... to uh, manage the time uh, within yeah. 15 minutes. I can't complete the 20 questions in a part. Did you, did you attend my uh, first se uh, first session? Yes, on sir. A I'm... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I tell I... you, you do not manage the time at all. Time will manage by itself. And you can finish that. If you practice according to that strategy, I can challenge you. You will complete within 10 minutes. Then you will say, Father, I have five more minutes. What should I do? Am I allowed to sleep in the examination? <laughs> okay, damn sure. And I can assist you later. Uh, if you take a repeat session, we will concentrate more on time management. There are a few more people who have asked for time management. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Maybe we'll take a 30 minute session on that. Okay, what are the challenges okay, in time Father. management? One more. Yeah, please. Okay, okay, Father. Thank you, Father. Uh, uh, one more, uh, one yeah. more thing is, uh, Father, uh, how to uh, take the relevant, uh, relevant information from a case note while we okay. are writing to a different health sector, uh, health yeah. persons uh, like yes. dietitian, physiotherapist, yes. and all. I am yes. so confused regarding how to collect yes. the relevant yeah. information. 
are you doing it? Are you are you doing it based on ISBA principle? Understand. ISBA, sir? ISBA. Did you attend my session on writing? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. But I I am so confused regarding uh, okay, this. Okay. Okay. And I suggest all of you when you are sending me, if you want, uh, before you start writing, if you have time, if you have not booked the dates, please please don't start writing unless you understand the case notes first. At least take ten four case notes. Just try to identify, highlight, and based on the ISPA principle, if you have a challenge, uh, give it to me or send it to me. The highlighted thing, I will find out whether it is right or wrong. If you find something is not confusing, don't leave it alone. Just like that, and we will work out on that. Okay, then we will work out only on the case notes. What are important? As I said, when you write to a physiotherapist recently, there were so many questions asking that is it a, is music therapist an allied health professional? No. Yes. No. Uh, idea terms you cannot use use your abbreviations and it should be very clear and you need not write all your medications you will not even be able to read or he or she will be a music therapist he will be singing some rhymes and he will be finding some notations from those medical prescriptions or your short notes if you take uh, to a music therapist if you send something like cpd or something like that they will he will say say it is a scale c and p uh, d and all but what is p so what i'm telling these allied health professionals are not able to understand your medical terms and your abbreviations basic therapist even physiotherapist i tell you all your abbreviations will not be able to understand whereas a doctor can a nurse can uh, whereas other people who give, if you refer them to a rehabilitation center maybe the person over there in charge may not be a, a health professional so it all depends on those things so ultimately your purpose and your selection of notes must be based on who are you writing and what are, what is the follow up service required by that person these are the only two criteria and does it help following up the uh, management of the patient or the person you know the patient it can be anybody okay who we are referring to okay, okay. thank you sir thank you uh, we will we will look into that wishes don't worry uh father that uh, yes. you, you have said uh, by st uh, studying case note we if we have any doubts we can uh, have a discussion with you means uh, we can uh, we can uh, type with email or uh, by whatsapp yeah. and, uh, through and, which uh, media we have to and uh, we will uh, uh, radha you will be able to assist this group more than 300 students by giving i think you have created a video on how to convert the uh, pdf into word test right radha y yes father uh, could you uh, uh, we will uh, i will add you to the groups will you be able to just post it Uh, sure for that uh, somewhere yeah. i saw you that i taught you once you remember how to convert the pdf into or your writing written text yeah into. i recorded an audio yeah. like instructing yeah, yeah. yeah. somewhere yeah, yeah. i saw that i heard it so yeah, yes, uh, for your information radha is going to be an auditor immediately she is one of my <laughs> students in another platform uh, we called unique mapping and uh, these are okay. the students who are uh, appearing for oet exam professional english test Yes, father. Okay. So rather, uh, I will add you in the group. Just post it, okay? Yeah, sure, it, right? father. Yeah. Yeah, Everybody... I have the audio. I have the audio. No, that's father. enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's huh. enough. Okay. Everybody okay. here, when you have a good written test, you can convert it to writing. Uh, Microsoft Word without typing, and also any PDF for your case notes can be converted into um, PDF format, Microsoft format without typing it. So. Radha will post a, an audio in the group. Uh, this is simply like this. We have to take an image, go to Google Photos, and uh, when you open the, click the Google Photos in the on the screen, you will find uh, three, four uh, direct uh, indications at the bottom, and there is one square with a middle dot. You have to press it. Then you will see the text being scanned in your image, and then there is a suggestion to you to select. You can select clicking that, or you can select uh, dragging your finger as you do in WhatsApp and all that. Yeah. Uh, then you have there is an instruction to copy the text. Just copy it. Then go back to any Microsoft Word and paste it, or anywhere, anywhere in the document, in your mail or in your WhatsApp, anywhere you can paste it. So now uh, this is even if I explain, you may not get it. So Radha's audio will help everybody. Yes. Radha, okay, if I father. forget to forget to add you, just let me uh, just remind. Yeah, you. yeah. Okay. I'll remind uh, father. Yeah. Because these days it is a bit hectic. I could not take you sessions also because. because of corona all our medical professionals are just enjoy uh, aspiring to fly no? <laughs> yeah okay. corona has attracted everybody yes thank yes. you rather nice nice meeting you after a long time 
Yes, Father Meet. Oh, yeah, it's nice meeting you. I think Desi was in uh, earlier, uh, like no, in the beginning she was in, but she had some issue and network okay. issue, I believe. Yes, Father. Yeah, oh, raining. Uh, it's been raining. Yeah. Ah, raining. Okay, okay. This is exactly mm. what you what I taught you, but then this is how they test reading uh -huh. competency. I thought maybe yes. helpful for you in that way. Yes, Father. If you have time, can you have a section on listening? Definitely, definitely. We'll think of many are asking. We'll think of a session. Still have it. Listening is really, uh, comparatively listening is the easiest module you have, provided yeah, you are able to capture a little bit of ac accent. Otherwise, strategy wise, it's one of the easiest. In, in, in part B, uh, part B and part C, especially in uh, part C. Okay. We are facing uh, difficulties. I, uh, Time management and reading, uh, we will not get uh, time to read complete questions and uh, options. Mm -hmm. And th that is a problem. Reading section was, uh, today's class was excellent. Father, these uh, words uh, we can find in the answer option or in the text? It depends. Mostly it is on the text. But then the answer oh. option, there will be uh, some synonym of this. Oh. This is model verbs. So this verb also will come. Yeah, this, will, this will happen in the I have shown you in today, even today's test to so many places. No, this yes, is yes. in part three. So, this model work will be used, and that will de define whether it is an opinion or a fact or a speculation. Mm -hmm. And questions will be okay. based on that. Few of the questions, okay. If for in example, case of it's for example, it's they say opinion. you should, you mm -hmm. should uh, drink no. water. And uh, oh. in the question, it will be something like uh, that meaning it, uh, almost the taste will be given, you must do it. It is not must, it is should. So that will oh. be uh, like, no, it will be a wrong answer option. Okay. If should uh, means uh, advice or recommendation or suggestion, yeah. something like yeah. yeah, yeah. Should means it is advisory, must means it is obligatory, mandatory, must. Oh. Okay. Unless you know the meaning, you will not be able to eliminate those wrong answers. You might uh, select wrong as the right answer. Because it is said you okay. should drink water, you must drink water. Both look same. Yes. Yeah. So if yeah. questions question is mentioned, should means we have to choose the answer like advice, suggestion like that. Yeah, yeah. Not only that, to oh. confuse you, to confuse you, one of the options with the should will be must. It sounds same, no? Mm -hmm. May will be a substitute with can, one of the options, answer options. Mm. She can, she may do it. Soumya Mohan may dance today. So Mia Mohan can dance. Can dance means she, she has learned dance. That doesn't mean she may dance today. It's an entirely different meaning. But then suddenly when you say, okay, Soumya Mohan can dance today. Okay? Soumya Mohan may dance today. Oh, it is given in the text. No. Wrong. They, they have entirely different meanings. But it looks oh, almost same. For a layman, layman, it looks same. That's the confusion they are creating. The options, answer options. Mm. 